I'm Cam Ross. I'm the CEO of Green Angel Ventures. I've been in this role for about 18 months now and have worked with Green Angel Syndicate for just a little over five years. And what attracted me to getting involved with Green Angel Ventures was the real expertise of our members and how we can help find and help support growing technology businesses in the UK. Green Angel Ventures is the reference investor for UK climate innovation. So we fund and help grow companies that are fighting climate change in some way. And that means they need to have had some demonstrable impact on carbon or our emissions over the lifetime of that business from when we help fund them to when they've grown into a mature business. We've been funding companies now for a little over five years. We have 35 companies in our portfolio and we've invested tens of millions of pounds into this space as we keep growing the impact from our members investment and our partners uh, co-investments as well. We are coming to Innovation Zero for a couple of reasons. The first one is really just to reconnect with industry colleagues and the ecosystem of funding and growing businesses that are fighting climate change, but also for a second reason, and that is that we feel it's really necessary for the UK as a whole to be demonstrating to the world that we are a centre of excellence for fighting climate change. And I think expos like this, trade shows like this, really give a great platform for us and our portfolio companies and the whole ecosystem to really be waving that flag for the UK. I think the real challenge for innovative technology companies that are fighting climate change comes between when they've got their first couple of customers and a first revenue stream and, and a gap really between there and a much more mature company operating at scale. There's a real funding gap in the sort of four, five, six to 10 million pound range where companies need to be raising that finance to grow their businesses. That's what Green Angel Ventures is seeking to fill. We're seeking to move companies out of that sort of friends and family and angel investment space right through Series A, through Series B investments to help them continue making the impact that we all need to be fighting climate change. The way that we choose companies in which we invest is they need to meet three requirements. The first one is they need to have a demonstrable impact on carbon when they're operating at scale. Secondly, they need to look like they're a good financial return for our investors' money. And thirdly, we only invest in companies where our specialist members, that's the members that make up our angel investing syndicate, where they can add real value to helping grow that company. So whether that is through a network of connections or real scientific expertise uh, related to the area in which that company operates, they need to meet those three requirements. If they do meet those requirements, then post funding, we tend to put a director or an observer on the board so that that person can act as a conduit between our specialist members and our, our investee companies to help them grow and hurdle those really important challenges that any growing business needs to, whether those are cash flow, whether those are new markets, how they protect intellectual property, growing their team, those sorts of standard things, but in a very niche specific way that we, we can really help and corral them through that, uh, that uh, dynamic and exciting period of growth. We have 35 portfolio companies and each of them has been on a terrific journey. Let me just name two of them. Qflow, a company that is radically reducing, reducing construction waste and the associated carbon impact with that and low carbon materials, a company that is incorporating plastic, which would otherwise be incinerated and the carbon go into the atmosphere. They're taking that plastic and incorporating it into building materials for the use in the construction sector. And those two companies are absolutely uh, exploding in terms of their, their performance and their um, market penetration. And low carbon materials in particular was nominated for and got through to the finals of the Earthshot Prize last year, which was fantastic for them. I think the key message I'd want everyone to walk away with is you need to act now. It is no good thinking we've got net zero targets for 2050. 
Do you know what? We need net zero targets for this year, the year after, the year after that. The time for investing in companies that have the solutions to the massive problem of climate change is right now. The sooner we invest in those companies, the sooner we get them scaled up, the less work we will have to do in the future in tackling the biggest problem that humankind has brought upon itself. One of the great things that we've seen in terms of policies over the last few years is the phasing out legislatively of petrol and diesel cars that has made such a massive impact in the market. And I think that whoever is in power needs to step up and enact similar policies across heating, across domestic energy, across all those things which comprise the, the real building blocks of our society, so energy consumption in general. We waste a huge amount of heat and energy in our housing stock, for example. We don't have really great building codes for new buildings. Those are just two ways in which whoever is in power could do us all a favor by moving industries as a whole towards a zero carbon environment. It's always great to meet up again with industry friends and companies that we've seen in the past. We see so many companies active in this space. It's always really dynamic and, and great to see them. But equally, Green Angel Ventures wants to fill the funding gap between the sort of five and 15 million pound range. And so we're here actively seeking people and companies who want to invest into the technologies that have the solutions to help us all fight climate change.